Hello and welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator. Hopefully you are having a wonderful day. I've been dealing with exciting audio issues with my PC. I think I've narrowed it down to possibly, <clears throat> excuse me, possibly what I use to run my microphone into my computer. It's a Focusrite a Scarlet Solo. May end up having the joy of buying something new to go there. Anyway, let's hop into our email. Let's see what we have going on for today. This first email says, Dear Sir, Madam, can you build a PC for me? I need this PC to hit at least 13,754 in benchmarks. Can you do it in seven days? Can you put in two of the same GPU, please? I like nice and shiny new components. I'm a total MSI fanboy. All right, so four grand, 3D mark score of 13,754. Let's accept that one. Next one says, hi, are you available for a job? I'm actually looking for a new build, so I need it to get about 6830 in benchmarks if possible. Let's go big and custom water cool the whole PC. You get it done in seven days. Have you heard of EK Waterblock? They're meant to be pretty good. I like nice and shiny new components. So they want a completely water-cooled PC. I think we can make that happen for that for 13 or 13. 32 of 50. Let's accept that one. And the final one for today says, Dear, Dear Sir, Madam, I am Liz Barnett, head librarian at... I don't even know how to say that. Ha Ha Tonka, ha -ha -tonka Public Library. Just getting in touch because a student crammed food package into one of our public computer terminals. I removed as much as I could, but now it won't turn on. Please conduct repairs as necessary. Alright, so somebody jammed some old potato chip bag in the computer and broke it. Let's accept that one. Let's see, so this is the first one here. I'm going to step away as usual, get some parts put in the shopping cart, and I will be right back. Alright, so for this first build we're going to go with the MSI Meg Z390 Ace motherboard, an i9-9900K, Fractal Design Celsius X36, which I believe is a 360 millimeter radiator from them all in AIO. We're gonna go with two sticks of HyperX Predator 16 gig 3200 megahertz, two MSI GTX 1080 Gaming X Pluses, Patriot Scorch M.2 drive 512 gig, 1000 watt power supply from Corsair. And we're gonna put that in the NWIN 303 MSI Dragon Edition because they said they are a MSI fanboy. We're gonna give them all the MSI they can deal with. All right, for this next build with custom water cooling, let's get that custom water cooling shop open. I'm going to step away, get some parts put in the cart, and be right back. All right, so for this next build for the custom water cooled PC, we're going to go with the Gigabyte X470 AORS Gaming 7 motherboard, a Ryzen 7 2700X, two sticks of Gigabyte AORS RAM 8 gig 3200 megahertz a Gigabyte M.2 PCIe SSD. I think it was 120 gigs. I don't remember though. Maybe it was 512. Uh, four terabyte hard drive, a 750 watt gigabyte power supply, and we're gonna put that in the NZXT H710i in white. As for the custom water cooling parts, we're gonna go with an EK block a reservoir and a 360 millimeter radiator as well as a Radeon Vega 64 graphics card. So let's go ahead, get all of this for next day delivery. We will buy that now. Let's go buy all of this, make sure that's next day delivery. We can go end our day. We can get in our parts and our repair and see how bad that kid destroyed the library computer. All right, let's get our parts here. Let's get this repair put up on the bench as well as these cases for the build. Let's get the right post-it notes. Let's see, I think Mysterious Carl goes with this one. And Barlow Mark with the custom water-cooled one. Let's take a look at this repair 
At least there's no chip bag it's still jammed in it. Let's see if it powers up at all. Absolutely nothing. Take this other side off the case. And we can disconnect all these cables. We'll check and see if it happens to be the power supply. Is everything disconnected? No. There we go. Let's take a look and see. This power supply happens to be broken. It is. Let's throw another power supply in there and see if anything else is broken as well. We've got some used power supplies laying around. Guess we'll screw it in. Not really necessary for testing, but let's cable this up and see if that's the only problem we have. It does not seem to be. All right. Let's get all these wires out of here. Let's get this power supply back out. Whoops. Wants to be a pain. Get this power supply out. And let's pull everything. Let's see if it happens to be a broken motherboard. Get the RAM, CPU out of here. This is a very nice uh, computer or a library. I've never been to a library that had a computer this nice. Gaming PC. Take a look at the motherboard here. Motherboard looks fine. Let's put it back in. Let's have a look at the CPU. CPU looks fine as well. So what was stopping it from turning on? Let's see, was their graphics card broken? Uh, GTX 950. While we're at it, let's see if their hard drive got broken. Let's see, what am I looking for? Storage. Nope, hard drive looks fine. Let's put that back in. Let's check the RAM. RAM also looks fine. Let's pop that back in as well. Maybe. There we go. Oh, we didn't check the cooler. Let's check their cooler. Never know, weird things get broken. Okay, cooler looks good. Let's go ahead and put that back on. We don't have to deal with it later. There we go. Well, let's go order. Was it MSI GTX 950? Let's get one of those. And what was their power supply? I don't remember. Cooler Master Bronze 450. Let's get one of those. There we go. Let's order one of those. Let's go ahead and get this delivered now. We can go ahead and get these parts put back in the PC. And we can get this thing back out to the customer. Let's not put it there. There we go. Get that installed. Let's get the power supply back in. The new one. Let's get this cabled up. We should be ready to go. All right, let's see if this power's on now. Missing cables. Oh. There we go. 
I think that's going to work. All right, let's get this case put back together. We can get this thing out in the hallway. And we can start working on our first build. Get this out here in the hall. All right, let's start working on this. Let's get this case pulled apart. We will get our motherboard installed. So this MSI MEG Z390 Ace. So the first time I have built anything with this motherboard, it looks very nice. I believe this is getting two graphics cards, so let's get those out of the way. Get this ready for CPU and RAM. And I think we're putting an M.2 in here as well. So let's get all of that installed. So this is getting the 9900K. We'll put that in. As well as two sticks of HyperX Predator. 16 gig, 3200 megahertz. Go ahead and put thermal paste on there. And let's go ahead and get our storage installed. It is a Patriot Scorch M.2 drive. We'll get that in. Go ahead and get our CPU cooler installed. Which is this Fractal Design Celsius X36. First time I am building with this. Hopefully it is a good part. While we are on this side of the case, let's go ahead and get power supply put in. Let's see, what was it? Was it the Corsair? I think it was this Corsair, a thousand watt. We'll get that screwed down. And let's go ahead and get our graphics cards in. Getting two GTX 1080. Let's sell that broken one. I hate having that broken stuff in my inventory. Let's get the two 1080s installed in here. It's that 1080. Okay, let's cable this up. Let's use, use red. This MSI has a lot of red. Get some red cables in here to offset with the white. Power button. Let's go ahead and put the side panels on. Because this case gets really angry. When you put this front side panel on after you've run your 3D Mark test. So let's go ahead and power it up. We will hop into the BIOS. We will turn on our XMP. Once this boots up, we will get 3D Mark installed because we need to get a 3D Mark score of 13,745. Oh, I didn't put a. You guys let me do stuff all the time. I didn't put a USB drive in. All right, let's power cycle that. Let's get 3D Mark installed. Do we need to adjust colors? I don't think we do. All right, let's just get 3D Mark installed. We'll get that running and see if we get the score we need. All right, I'm gonna get this running. As soon as I have a score, I will come right back. 13,354, I do not think that meet the, met the score. I can't even talk today. I don't think that meet the score. That did not meet the score. Uh, let's possibly try overclocking these and see, we're really close. Let's, what do I need here? GPU tuner, let's get that installed. We'll restart. Put a little overclock on him and hopefully that will get us up to the 13745 that we actually need. Do that. Let's get these up to 
think these can run up somewhere around 2100 maybe even 2150 I don't remember let's just do 2050 maybe let's apply that I'm going to run a 3d mark let's see if we get a better score as soon as it's done I will come right back with the score all right so there's the power of an overclock Small little overclock got us up to a 14,578. Definitely beating the 13,754 they were looking for. I think this PC turned out pretty nice. Let's grab this thing. Let's stick it out in the hallway. And we can get started working on this custom water-cooled PC. Oh, the game's doing that thing again where it won't let me... Remove stuff. I'm not sure what that's about. I don't know if anybody else is having that problem with this game, but man. Ever since their last update, I've had problems trying to remove parts sometimes. It just spins and won't actually let you pull the part off. Alright, well let's try to get this built while the game's still working. Let's grab our motherboard. It's going to be this Gigabyte X470. Aorus Gaming 7. I'm going to do a all AMD build here. So let's get this ready for RAM and CPU. It's also going to be a mostly gigabyte build. Let's grab our CPU. It's the 2700X. Let's get that installed. Let's get our RAM. This is Gigabyte Aorus 8 gig 3200 megahertz RAM. We'll get that installed as well. Let's go ahead and put some thermal paste on the CPU. Let's get our M.2 drive in there. It's this Gigabyte M.2 drive. Also got a 4 terabyte hard drive. Let's get that installed. All right, let's go ahead and get the CPU block installed. It's the EK. Let's go ahead and get our reservoir installed. This is the first time for me doing a custom loop in this PC case, so I'm hoping everything fits. I haven't actually test fit any of this stuff yet. So we will see how this works out. All right, get the radiator in there. And let's get, what am I looking for? Our GPU, the Vega 64. And finally, let's get our power supply installed. Let's get that broken thing out of there. Is this Gigabyte Aorus 750 watt power supply? Hold on, don't plug yourself in yet. Let's grab the PSU mount here and we will get that installed as well. Okay, let's cable this up and then we will get our water cooling loop finished off. Let's do some braided orange cables. Since Gigabyte has orange, let's get everything cabled up here. Lots of fans. There we go. All right. Does this block say in and out? Okay, that looks like it says out, and that looks like it says in, and that's out. Okay, let's get our tubing in here. Let's go with the rigid. We're going to go from this out. And you got to get this thing in just the right position. To this in. That works for me. Let's do that. Let's go from... Th Maybe. This game's doing that thing again. 
I don't know what happens. I click stuff, and it does the little circle, and then it doesn't actually select it. There we go. Let's see, how can I access... Maybe, maybe this case is going to work. It may not. Looks like this rear fan may just have to go. What, what is all plugged into this fan? All these fans? Okay. All right, let's see if we can make this work now. There we go. Except that we'll run from the radiator into the graphics card. And then we will run from the graphics card back into the reservoir, and I think we will be good. Let's get some coolant in there. Maybe some orange. Do we have orange? Opaque orange. I think that will look nice. We'll get that all running through there. While that's running through, I'm going to go ahead and get our USB drive in so I don't forget. It looks like we are ready to power this on. Do that. Let's hop into the BIOS. Let's turn our XMP on. Make sure we're booting from the right drive. We will let this install the OS. We have to change a couple of colors on here, or at least the RAM. So let's go ahead and get 3D Mark on here. And let's get the lighting app installed. All right, let's adjust the light first. Let's make everything this orange color. See how that looks. Oh yeah, that's much better. All right, I'm gonna get 3D Mark running. As soon as I have a score, I will come right back. All right, there it is, 7,153. We needed a 6830. Let's get this case put back together and we can get this thing out in the hallway. Get that top panel on. And the side. And then this side. There we go. I think that turned out pretty nice. I like the colors. Let's get this thing out in the hall. Let's collect some money. Get this out of our way. Looks like we got some daily deals. And a bunch of emails as well. Let's go ahead. Collect that one. And we'll collect that one. And finally, the one the kids destroyed at the library. We've definitely got more emails for our next episode. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in the next episode.